When you were talking to uh, Dan Crenshaw, the little bit of experience I've seen him on the internet has been in confrontational situations, and I see him using cartel as talking points, and we watched that um, interview with him, and I kind of felt like he don't know really shit about the cartel, does he? Like, is it just a talking point? Did you feel uh, I any of that? I all that video that you did. Oh, no, you I, I didn't get to see all of, all of it, but I want to tell you, man, like, look, I, I, I don't like the... the I personally don't feel like the minute we don't hear something we mm-hmm. like, it's quick, we're quick to say he's racist, quick. He's from Texas. He sees drug traffickers from first hand. He sees that. Maybe he's not in tune, and maybe that's where I come in, into specifics. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he needs to get educated a little bit more. But what I was trying to say is, like, just because someone's against drug cartels doesn't mean they're against Mexicans or immigrants. Because somebody doesn't want, you know, of you know, you know, tens of thousands of immigrants to be coming the way they're coming it doesn't mean that they're against Hispanic. I think that that I I don't like that the way that's kind of. I don't like believe. Framed. I don't really believe that either. I don't really believe that like it's just you know purely based on that. I do. Do I feel like some people have an air about them that it's like oh, everybody's beneath them? Yeah, that's that's it is what it is. But I don't think that's his motivation. I just think some people pick a. They pick a, a, a cross to bear, right? And his, I thought his cross to bear was the cartel, and I felt like when he sat down, he was just surprised by by things that I wouldn't even expect him to be surprised about, and he was asking questions about things that seemed like common knowledge to a person like me that really didn't follow the situation before he started doing this channel, you know? All right, so when I sat down, and the reason why he didn't want to put his name, I just think he didn't want to be responsible for, you know, something going wrong with me and the reason why they changed my voice was for that reason so when i sat down and did the interview i felt like i followed his lead and it's like you know everything but there's people that don't right right so he i to me he was asking questions even though he was even though we did have a big classified you know meeting all that he was, he still was asking, asking for the audience like, you you get around getting at he was trying yeah, to absolutely. educate the people you know, for the audience that was there. So I answered, if you could tell, I answered in the same way, you know? You know, I'm I'm, I'm not going to go in there thinking that everyone knows the whole story. I'm, I'm basically following the lead, you know? And for you, just say that. You, we might see a video and you kind of know the whole backup story, backstory, whatever the case is, so it's easier, right? No, absolutely. But I took it, you know, from a, you know, like a, it was actually like, you know, it was for our audience, and I'm gonna tell you something. He's very smart. One thing I will say for it's real easy for anyone to say anything about him, and like for somebody who served the country, you know, lost people, lost his eyes, was in gun battles. You know, you know, I, I don't believe he's scared of anything. You know, when he says I want to gun the drug cartels, in his head, he's like, man, you're my enemy. You get me? He's trained in battle. We trained him. You know, the government trained him to go fight the war. He's seen terrible things happen. And he comes back to, to to the United States where it's supposed to be his home and he sees all this destruction. He sees what's going on right next door. And, and I'm going to guess that to him, it doesn't look any different to where he was coming from. You know? And I think that, that we all have extreme measures. I think that it's always a different way of parenting, right? Like you might, you know, somebody might want to whoop their kids, you know, whatever, you know? I just think it's, it's, it's you know, some of what he's been through and how he sees things and i really do believe it comes from a place of love does that make sense yeah the love of the country and he's like you know what if that's what you got f your feelings f your feelings f everyone's feelings you get me like like we have to do something different you know you know and i think that 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 that's what it is, you know. Buddy, do 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 the death penalty in the air. You know, no. What I think, you know, he's looking for answers. So we he talked about, you know, deterrence. Deterrence. What's gonna stop young people from out there from Not doing you this made kind it clear of stuff? To him, you know, the threat of death. What does that mean in the eyes of? Gotta do what I gotta do. Well, oh, I would tell you something. You know, for me, I would tell you, yeah, put more punishment on those violent crimes. What are your, I mean, just, let's just go. What's your thoughts on that? A violent criminal is a violent criminal. I can't sit here and defend somebody that smokes an old lady or, you know what I'm saying now? You know, that's what I'm saying. That, that's what I'm saying. Or, or even like, let, let's be honest. You, you Like 
You know how it is. They just say the shot gang bang. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, now, yeah, you you go kill somebody. That's the life you want to be. You want to be a tough dude. Okay, look, you you rape somebody. It should be twenty years automatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like, there's a place for you. I mean, if you ask me, you eradicate them. But that's not. We don't live in. in but in but you get getting at like you you yeah, kill somebody. Yeah. Like and just say here. I'm just trying to say I'm not. Remember, I'm not no one to judge. I'm just saying. But what if the laws? What if they're you know. Because it's hard, man. Like, you know, and, and if you tell me, well, yeah, I don't want to see a young kid dying, for, you know, because they get shot or something like that. But one thing, you know, that did change is like when, when the laws got hard, you know, it did change the landscape of, you know, of the United States, right? In some places, in some places it didn't, you know, just so there's different things, but I'm not against it. And like, who would be against, you know? I just think with the culture, you know, could, the way it is right now, you could threaten these kids with double life. And they're gonna go off. But you know what? And then it comes. It, it, it comes. Gonna you know, I'm gonna tell you. A hard head makes for a soft ass, right? Then guess what? Bet you try to tell them. That's why they're gonna be people like me. They're gonna be people like you. Or right now, what 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 other people are doing with different dirt? For those people who are really mean and who really are trying to say, "Hey, yo, young kids in every criminal, stop it! Don't do it!" You get me? Who are trying to lead you in the right way? You know. I, I like I said, I listened to the other uh, podcast earlier. We talk about Berto, you know, backed up since he was eighteen, did eighteen years. You know what I'm saying? Like, like man, he was a kid when he came out. You know, what I'm saying? a kid when he went in. You know, it's just, and you think about that. He's like, look, this is something you shouldn't do. So you think about that. You know, man. You know, why not? You know, why not be? You know, uh, save a life by, you know being real hard on those violent criminals so that they don't, you know, go kill somebody for twenty dollars at the seven eleven. You know what I'm saying? You no, know, no, just my my belief, you know? you know. You see, but here, like Chucky, I think it's society's gonna tell you better jobs for the streets. I think it starts with us getting educated and what, you know, it requires. Like man, there's schools all over our neighborhoods, right? You know? And let's be honest, I don't care what neighborhood you are, man, Shai, you you from the north side, I'm from the south side. Like, let's be honest, for a little village, man, it has fucking, this is what, 5,000, 8,000, 10,000 gang members? A little village has a community of what, maybe 130, 140,000 people? They're not all bad. I know a lot of people wouldn't get their education. They're not the, got the best jobs, but they got an education. You go, not everyone's going to, you know, have a, you know, Two million dollar a year job, you know what I'm saying? You have to work for that, but there is, there is chances. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you think about that, Shai? Right? Some of those just choose to go to the street. Some of those don't have a chance. Like, they, that's true. But I think when people say, "Well, how about better jobs?" Like, well, here's man, the thing: you'll everywhere. see, you'll see every type of different person. You'll see the kid that had no choice but to hit the street. Right? I've seen that kid. Come up out of that shit, get a job, live a life, have a family. I've seen the kid that could have gone the easy route, go the hard route. Yeah, they go the hard route. Yeah, not get and, out. Some and, of them got out too, but it, it's hey, like it's uh, it's the person that you are it, that makes the difference. What you got inside you that makes a difference. Yeah, yeah. Hey, no, no, you're getting the story wrong. What story? Oh, uh, tell I, us I the story right. Been, um, they got it mistaken for Arturo's people because they thought that Arturo's people did business with them, people that Edgar was actually speaking to, you know. But it wasn't Arturo, but it was Machu Preto's people. They got him confused and killed them. So he was w he was and with some people that they potentially were looking for. Meaning they just got it confused, but he was with some people that they thought associated with the Beltran labels, not Arturo himself, but. And if you if you pay attention to that video of Oakland Leaks, he says that everyone already knew that they had to report everything because you know usually they have the radios on blast and you know everyone's on that same line and for some reason they didn't use it and uh, they got them confused and killed Chapel Son. And then that's why um, basically they had a send Macho Preto to Sonora to get him out of the Culiacan because, you know, Chapo wanted to kill him, basically. But who wanted to save him? Well, Mayo and his people, I mean, because it was a mistake, you get me? 
it was a mistake, but still, you know. Right, Werito didn't get that. And they didn't want to. I guess he 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 understood it too, but I guess he didn't want to be like parade around or or be hearing a dude being in the city doing this, doing that. You get me? Right, right. All in his face with the shit. Yeah, you get me. But it was a mistake. And if you hear the story on that video, um. There's other people that are not mentioned, but um, I actually knew Edgar. Edgar was probably the most business one of all of them. Real, like, you know, he was different for sure. But later on, you know, they're going to mistake a really good friend of mine at the time, and he was our partner. Um, people know him as El Animal. They mistake, a hit, they mistake his son. And uh, end up killing him too, and that was our the Bochanle was actually killed them. Young kid, innocent kid, you know, a good kid. I mean, they, that that was actually no, that was a mistake. I mean, state they thought he was Chapel's son, but it didn't matter because by that time, I mean, it's a long story, but by that time, um, you know, um, the Lee was already had, you know. Um, I guess by that time, Animal already had pick size, so I guess anything went, I guess. I'm not sure, you know. Gucci Cano had a $10 super chat and asked, did the Twins have people in West Michigan? Also, did y'all mess with a lot of people from Durango or spend time in Durango? I'm from Telejuanes. Well, I only spent time in Durango when I was there. Mm, when I'd go see Mayo, and then that's where Mayo actually hid for a long time. But that's where we'd go see him. But in the mountains, by Tamasula. West Michigan. Michigan. Uh, we, people in Detroit, I don't know if they're where they were at, but people in Detroit, I mean, that was our place. What's the best legal business to get into in their opinion? Chief Keith been trying to get that question out for like two months, and it always falls through the cracks, so I'm glad you're here. <laughs> mm. Well, that's, I mean, you're saying like, like, it's just a legal business, right? Like something to do legal. I don't know. Like it, my opinion is going to be biased, you know, because of course I like logistics. So I'm into whatever you could grow volume wise, you know, I like logistics because to me anyway, you know, uh, you could grow it, you know, it's one truck or 10 trucks or 30 trucks or 40 trucks. I mean, you know, and, and, and you could do multiple streamings right at one time. I'm more, you know, I mean, that's my opinion, my personal opinion. Um, I guess there's just like, there's so many different opportunities, you know, it all depends on what you're into because I, I like, for instance, you know, I know that I, I feel like I could get into any business, like me, myself, like I could see like right now, if there's a need, like, like I'm not into restaurants, but if there's a need, you know, for the right, you know, where it's needed, I feel like anytime you have that demand, there's a lot of kind of businesses, right? Kelly Price been asking, and and we answered this with Mile earlier, um, but he's been asking about if you seen, uh, if you seen people doing devil worship, or heard about mm -hmm. them doing weird shit like that. He's back. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was common, but no, I, I I've heard about it, but like to us, it's like. I don't know. I just feel like it's almost like like people like the media takes like what they hear one person is doing and they kind of run with it. I, you know what I'm talking about? I didn't see like no fucking drug dealers doing that. I don't know. <laughs> I heard of people like you know. I think doing it's, that, it's, it's 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 a sensationalized thing, but again, you could tell them exactly what it is, and if it isn't what they imagined in their head, it won't be right. You know. They, I think it goes back to some of the things. stories you heard. Like, just say, like, the killers or the people. And, you know, mm -hmm. bro, it's, like, it's different. I try to explain that. It's not, like, not everybody's a cartel, bro. You know? It's like, if they pick up a pistolero somewhere doing some fucking devilish shit because he's got devil in his mind. You know what I mean? Because he's a killer. You know what I'm saying? Doing that kind of stuff. And the next thing you know, it gets passed on that everyone does it, which is bullshit. You know? I do see a lot of Santeria, like, you I came across a lot of those dudes that go to Cuba and get those cleansing. What do you call those things? 
Yeah, the limpieza, but do they do the whole thing? You get me? Where they wear white for whatever a whole mm, year? Yeah, I don't know what it's called. I'm sure somebody in the chat can help. You know what I'm talking about? They do all that. Absolutely. I did that. I did see a lot of that that they put on the certain coyotes, but I think that that's all goes back to what they believe to be kind of like energy and golly or whatever. You know, I want to make it clear. Mm. Bro, Albert, Doris, it bro, it's contrary to what you believe. Like when I see that that Chapo really tell bro, Chapo didn't give a fuck about Barbie. Like it's kind of like like it's just weird because it's just like it almost sounds good. But from my understanding, Barbara Barbie kinda of confessed that he's the one that told on him. Remember through the letter she sent to the president? So did you I mean that's a good story you guys pick up. He sent letters to the president and then he did an interview by Annabelle Hernandez or something. He states how I thought it used to be, you know, go crazy. Damn, I just remember about a story, but I thought he used to go crazy and then would want to kill him at times. And Barbie was scared of him because he was like, like really high on drugs and he was going crazy because well, you know, he was at yeah. war. No, I was just talking about how crazy that is. How you got to worry about the people that you're around fucking wilding out all the time and shit. Uh, shout out to Gucci Cano for the five dollar super chat. He said, "How was Damaso Junior in Mini Leak? I heard he lived very lavish. And do y'all have any interaction with Mini Leak?" Mm, I don't remember personally meeting Mini Leak when I was there, but I wouldn't argue with him living a lavish life. He was part of the whole Narco Juniors race right, stuff, but I did do business with his father. I knew his father very well. Tell us about some of the rules as far as what type of timeline do they give y'all to pay work back and what happens if a load gets robbed or picked up by the cops? Do y'all still got to pay that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, you do. They, the one thing they don't know how to do is take losses. After a while, I think this will make a different. Um, sometimes even when... It's not a story, but you, like, it gets to a point where... where the bosses didn't take losses at the well. So that means that even when they lost stuff, and, you know, like if we were all coming in the load or something, and they lost, you know, we lost the load, and, you know, they had to put the majority part, we would all pitch in just so that they didn't take a loss. But yeah, you pay for everything. And then, in time wise, I mean, it depends, man. It's like, it's not like a set time, but. We didn't have that issue though. Like in Mexico, they don't get credit, so it's different. Do they I'm take not saying it? they wouldn't, but they just don't. Yeah, because um, so, so. people are always asking that. They're always saying, "Oh, you know, they owe this, they owe that." But I thought it was part of y'all business model to not owe. No. Shit. Yeah, like it's <laughs> people make dumb comments. Like, of course, like sometimes we owe. Sometimes you know, like it varies. Sometimes they owe us. Like you know, but it's like. You know, you know. Sometimes they give us stuff that I wouldn't be able to pay for. You know, by far. You know, and and uh, it all depends. But we just were at an advantage where we wouldn't like take our man. I just don't want to talk about that kind of stuff because now I'm getting into giving people ideas that I just don't want to talk about. All right, that's cool. But put it this way: they don't. You don't have a lot of time. Right? It's not even about time. It's about you. We become like an and like a and. Like if you're playing for a credit card, they kind of look at you and like, okay, what are you capable of doing? What are you capable, of, you know? Mm -hmm. And how much the time you have? Mm -hmm. And then you make know, an assessment. Yeah, they make an assessment on you, and then and it just depends. It's just like I don't, I don't, you know. Just it depends, I guess. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. I just don't feel comfortable even talking about that. To be honest, that's cool. It doesn't work like you think it is. It's not like oh, you got a week, you know? Because mm -hmm. what happens if just put things in perspective, what happens if you're not done in the weekend, you're still paying them. You give me what, you know? It's not always about the numbers, it's just how you fix up the business, you know? Is there any long-term thinking in that game, or is it all just everybody's just, is, is haywire? Because like you say, it's more than just numbers, sometimes it's bringing something to the game that's gonna make the game move better, you know what I mean? Well, it's it's just, it's like, man, that's what I want to say, like, when I always say that we're businessmen, it's just always about business. It's like it's not always a bit about a number. What if I tell you that, you know, at times I could have paid a really high number that you probably wouldn't have believed of, 
Mm-hmm. But on the other side of it, I made more money off a business deal because I did that. It right. would be hard for you to understand that. But it's always you lose here, win some here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's give always a give and take, take game. Yeah, you know, and it's how you put business together. That's what makes people successful. So I'm going to tell you, if I just went on a number game, then I probably would have been messed up. But it's how you get in, how you, you know, you get in where you fit in, how you're able to, you know, put business deals together. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I think it was, that was my man. He's my good friend, man. I had much respect for him. I did 10 years with him. Uh, man, I and I have so many memories with him. Uh, he was a really good friend, man. I had some real hard times where he was there for me, you know? Um, it's weird because I think that he always took back and he would be like, man, uh, he was always uh, thinking back that I could be emotional and not care, you know? I remember, I, I, you know, I had, you know, some family drama and I got a little emotional. I remember him telling me. And he told me in Spanish, like, no way. Para que no te miren así, güey. You know, like, you know, like for me to hide or something. I'm like, man, give a fuck. And then he always told me after that that he looked, you know, he just like looked at me in a different way. Like he, he respected that. I just didn't care, you know. Right. You know, you know, that, that's why we say it's weird because. Because uh, I know people be thinking, like, I know and prison is prison, no matter where you're at. Like, And I know there's some real hard dudes and stuff. But one thing you can't, like, a real man, real people are going to respect, you know, real feelings. And I think that, you know, it's weird. He, he was a certain way, and I understood it, and, and uh, vice versa. But I think that I did, in a weird way... Kind of like teaching him. I kind of taught him a lot about you know being able to accept other things of you know you know life. I think. Did you meet him in the joint? El Tigre, yo, you you knew buddy. No, yeah, I met him. I met him in there. I mean, I knew who he was, but I, I met him. Right, right. I was in there. I actually, um, I want to see that. Put it this way: He started playing basketball because of me, you know. <laughs> and at that time, you know, I'm always been like a three point shooter, and I would you know, always, like, teach a man that he got good, he actually could play. He got good. Like, he wasn't, in, he he wouldn't dribble, but he was a hustler. He was fast. When I talk about, he was fast, yo. Mm-hmm. He was, like, you know, and he played defense and did all that, like. But he also started a lot of issues. <laughs> he didn't understand, like, the American way, the way we play. You know how it is, Shai? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. like, you know, Someone hits you probably hard or something. You get me? Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. you know how it is. County Sometimes ball. You, you, like, huh? County ball. Yeah, like, county ball. Just say, like, well, he didn't understand. All right, just say that we were tired or or just say, like, not, okay, not just say, just say, uh, just say that we, the game needed to calm down or something because whatever. And he, he didn't understand when, you know, someone would go up to someone and just smack them. You get me? Mm-hmm. To stop the ball. And right. he didn't understand that. So right, right. he would get like, he, he to him, that was offensive. Like, what the fuck, you know? It started a war. Oh, my sure. God. Yo, you understand, yo. You know how many times I had to actually just, yeah, man. 